Hi plant lovers in YouTube, it's Kara here. Um, I'm just going to give you an update concerning about my um, collection of few of my um, orchids and it's mainly Oncidium Alliance. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm away from this. My babies, all of my babies will be away from their mama for three weeks time and I'm hoping after that um, they will still be in um, a good condition. I wouldn't expect them brilliant but then yeah hopefully they still are you know alive and kicking is what we could say anyway we'll start with this um Bartley Swartz if I pronounce it right this is had it with me since uh, um, May 2017 and it flowered with me twice and the first one was just only one flower and this is the, the second time um, it has two spikes and it just finished a few days ago and this is the day three flowers are remaining and you can tell it's not really a small flower and it's just a, you know quite a um, good size but not really exotic look looking if you are um, looking for an, an orchid with um, fancy uh, pattern and uh, quite exotic um, I don't think this uh, plant, um, this orchid is for you, but if you um, love the scent, you are a collector of uh, orchids that appreciate the scent, this is um, an orchid for you. I know it's, um, I think it's probably compromises with the scent and um, with the way the flower is, but yeah, so this is a good, um, it's a nice orchid, can easily grow bigger. And it's in my, um, um, what's this, uh, semi-hydroponics. Uh, mostly of my orchids now are semi-hydroponics and in clay pots. So uh, this is one of them. So yeah, I'm hoping um, there are uh, new growths, that ones, and there's another one at the back. I'm hoping that um, it will go healthy, but um, I'm not so sure. Well, I wouldn't be about um, to witness if it's a flower again. So yeah, this is a lovely scent. I could smell it from where I'm standing and looking at it. So that's one. And then I got another one, this Miltonia. Um, I haven't dated this Miltonia, but it has with me for a quite some time. This plant was quite a very big plant and... Um, I wish I could uh, have my old picture and it's it, when it was in a lot of blooms. Anyhow, so yeah, this is the... I just replanted it a um, few months back. Um, was it springtime? Um, roughly that way. And yeah, so it's in a semi-hydrophonics and um, still giving me, um, you know, forgive me for all that trauma that I uh, inflicted. And it's given me a wonderful, pretty flower. She is pretty. If um, it normally blooms, you know, if it blooms a massive amount, my God, it is amazing. And if you love uh, the way this uh, plant looks, the flower, it is uh, a pretty flower as well. I'm not so sure if the camera justifies its um, beauty. But yeah, it's a beautiful plant with a lovely scent. If you're onto that and um, this is a plant for you it's uh, yeah got um, one spike there and another spike there so it normally it, it, some some of the oncidium provides two spikes but um, this one um, I normally just have one spike of each um, a new growth so that is a lovely flower for you and um, the other one, it's um, this plant has got no ID, but it is a pink and um, brownish, whitish. Um, can't remember. I'll show you uh, the picture if I'll find out in the um, uh, left side corner or right side corner, whichever that. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I forget. Yeah, I'll I'll show it to you if I could find an old picture. Well, this plant, uh, why I'm showing it, I know it's not um in in bloom. It's just uh, have a spike of, you know, a flower spike. I'm just showing it because um, I'm going away, as I said, just to give you an update. This plant flowers, um. 
it's so forgiving this diet this this kind of um orchid i think it's a hybrid it is totally forgiving the moment i've transferred it to a new um what's this media it forget you know it as if um nothing happened it always provide me a spike every time there is a new growth this is my second growth from since i bought it um this is the old growth when i bought it this is only three um pseudobulb and then this is the second one which was last um last year and it provide me a lot of spike three spikes and then this time it provide me plenty so one plant it's a bit um you know i haven't seen it before that it goes into into the middle of the pseudobulb it normally is on the sides there just like this one it's on the side but anyhow i'm happy so yeah this is two spikes with a big sort of bulb it's quite a big sort of bulb and the plant the flower in itself is in a good size uh very nice and then another one look at that how funny is that it's in the middle of the sort of bulb and there is the other spike i can't see any spike in that on that side it normally just give me one spike but hey i'm happy the other ones give me two but yeah so that's the other one i'll try to find uh, where is my old picture of this plant of the flowers right and the third one i'm just showing you five of my own um of orchid this is glorious um it's a lovely beautiful it surprised me a lot this is my brassia it's a spider orchid it yeah, um, two of the plants are already, uh, flowers, I mean, are already faded. That was the flowers looks like. If you see my Instagram, I would uh, have it in my um, link. She is so pretty. Um, the video, um, it doesn't, um, you know, um, make justice of these um, blooms, but that is to wonderful spikes of bloom if i'll show you yeah it's quite long it's about probably 20 to 21 inches uh, um, long from where the pseudo bulb is um this is a rescue plant i have it since um december 2016 it's um um just a word of advice if possible if you could help it try not to buy plants in winter season so it's, it's a bad idea um i have learned my lesson anyway it's a rescue plant from it was infected with fusarium when i bought it this is a second i i yes i have informed the owner and then he apologized and provided me a second plant but anyhow when i've um, checked it it was still with uh infested with fusarium and i cut it until the end that i the pseudobulb is clean so this is two cut of the um yeah if i provide the i think i still get a picture i'll put it um up the picture what when i've um had the uh, you know when i cut it from the infected site you know part of the plant i mean so after all those years 16 after three years nearly three years from now from december and it has forgiven me from what i did and it has uh, supplied me and thanking me for rescuing it with this um very long spike see that how long tall 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 i thought during some springtime and it will not end and i was saying to myself i hope i will not break it because sometimes you know when you got um a bit of an accident and you break um they um the spike so yeah so those are the two spikes one spike consists of i counted it before 14 flowers each it was so pretty so two four six eight ten twelve fourteen yeah 
14 flowers this is 14 flowers this one one is still um, going to open this one has are all open and three were already gone so that's one there and one is going and then there's another one gone there so yeah so there were 13 lovely flowers if you are into a pattern um love exotic pattern no one of a kind plant uh orchid with its flower this is a f um an orchid for you it will not disappoint you and if you're on to with a well um with a scent this is tick the boxes so yeah very exotic put a smile on your face so i know i can't believe it so there you go you can't appreciate it more so that's um the brassia um orchid um the last one is this um the token uh, a Mel Mel meltasia shilob the token plant is that am i did i pronounce it right oh my god my camera is not even so this plant i can't remember when i bought it i'll have a look and then um show it to you it took a very long time for to flower me and to forgive me for what i did with it i i it wasn't it was a clean plant i know there is a mark on the leaves but yeah there was um it's a very healthy one when i've uh purchased it and because i rep repotted it and put it in a semi hydrophonics and indeed it doesn't like the transition and it didn't flower for me for nearly two years and i was like oh for goodness sake but when it adjusted to the new system this uh plant was on a small pot and if you could say it now, it's quite in a big pot. And because it was um, coming out from its uh, old pot. So I just repotted it. The, the good thing about Sydney Hydrophonics is you don't have to, you know, um, remove all those um, old media. You just use the same one and add it some more uh, pebbles. Or, uh, yeah. So any anyhow, back to the flowers. This is the flowers. It's beautiful, guys. She is pretty. She indeed forgive me for what I did, and thanking me for showing me these lovely flowers. It is beautiful. I know sometimes it's a bit twisted like that. You know what I mean. But maybe I hope so that it will just. Um, return to what it should be so yeah so this is the one um i'm just going to tell you that this plant is quite um this flower is quite um um a good size and the coloring and the pattern is so pretty and yeah if you are into scent and exotic um pattern or exotic flowers this is one of a kind this is one of the plants that um, i must have if you're into that so you just have to be very patient sometimes i know you all do especially if you're orchid um, um you got orchids it's all about patience and yeah so it is very pretty guys you could tell so one of the spike is one two three four five six seven seven uh, flowers and um it has given me one two three four spikes so this is one and that's another one there which is only three flowers and the third one was um two four six seven flowers the same thing as the other one and the other spike is just there so yeah i won't be able to see that because in about um a week time i'll be away from this um my babies so so yeah guys i hope you do enjoy my videos i know i haven't uh, showed um so much um it's just that um you know when you're working and it's um uh, youtube is uh, i tried youtube as a hobby so yeah so hopefully you enjoyed my video and uh, thanks for watching i 
um subscribe like and subscribe that's what my son said so thank you guys for watching i hope you have a lovely days ahead of you and um yeah happy planting all right bye for now